Executive Gardener here. Hey, I got a great episode. This is going to be a quick episode. By the way, check out my new shirts. Executive Gardener in the back. Dig it, man. Dig it. So, uh, uh, they're not for sale, sorry. But anyway, I want to give you an update on my, uh, everybody's getting into it, but you take a look here. Um, I just bought a pretty cool aquaponic tank. Uh, actually, a fish tank, 10-gallon tank that I'll show you close up here in a second. But I'm growing um, seven heads of lettuce here. I'll show you here in a second. And I think it's tremendously uh, exciting. I'll show you what it is. It's a simple setup. I'm doing this experiment with my daughter for her science project. So last year, we won first place with a hydroponic uh, 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 broccoli plant. Big school district, first place, got the blue ribbon. This year, we're going aquaponics. So I'll show you what's in the tank, what's growing on top. This is the first day of the setup. Uh, we're going to show you how I set it up, what's the equipment, and we're going to track it over two or three weeks. It's a six-week project. We're comparing it to lettuce that's growing in soil. And we'll see which grows better. So we'll show you real quick what the aquaponic tank looks like here in a second. I'll bring you up close. So here we are at the aquaponic setup. You'll see here this thing. I'll back up and show you what it looks like. So we have a grow light at, on the top, and you'll see there's two bright bulbs. There's a lift there, and there's seven baskets, uh, look to be about two and a half inch baskets, that are sitting in a medium of, uh, of um, I guess it's like a cotton-like fiber. And this is where the water dumps out to. So if you take a look at it, it's a simple 10-gallon tank. What I did was I went with uh, goldfish. So the goldfish are a little bit hardier. Uh, as you know, they produce the ammonia. The ammonia has, uh, the tank's been set up for about a week or two, so it's got beneficial bacteria that convert the ammonia to nitrites, which then are converted to nitrates, which the plants use. These plants use the nitrates and then return the water back into the, as you can see there, is a, there's a, well you can't see, but there's a drip that re that returns the water back into the tank. So it comes up through the uh, the, the uh, air pump up into this tank where it's dropped in through these PVC tubes. It goes into this medium. Most of the bacteria, the positive bacteria that convert the ammonia to nitrites, nitrites to nitrates, are in that. And then the plants, of course, take the nitrates. It returns the clean water back into the tank. So here's where we are, as you can see, Actually, I do have one tomato plant there and one small broccoli plant, but the rest are just simple lettuce plants. These are seedlings that have been growing for about a week, and uh, we'll see how they do. So this is a kind of cool setup. So I bought the thing from a guy online. I've seen a lot of, like, grow tanks that you can grow, like, goldfish, and they're small, like, one or two gall gallon things. They're kind of cool, but I want to go big. I want to use uh, a little bit more content. You see, this is mainly, there's not much space. There's about 10 inches between the top and the bottom. So it's really used to grow things like lettuce and herbs. It never worked for things like tomato plants, peppers, etc. But it's a pretty cool setup. This is the aquaponic se setup. I'm doing this with my daughter again for her science project, but I think this is pretty cool. Obviously, we're not going to eat the goldfish. This is more used to uh, produce uh, herbs and so forth. But if this goes successful, I'll show you and chronicle this every two weeks to see how big the plants get. Tune back to my YouTube channel, uh, The Executive Gardener, to track it with me. It'll be a fun little project for all of us to view. If you have friends that like gardening, please have them subscribe to my channel, The Executive Gardener on YouTube. So uh, we'll give an update in a week or two as to how the aquaponic project is going. Have a great day.